I'm Hello, Hello, and, welcome and welcome back, back to, to another edition, edition of Songbirds Eating show. show. In today's video, we are checking out a local Mexican restaurant called My Favorite Plant. Gonna go try some delicious food today. Yep, yep. So, are you guys ready? Let's go eat some good old Mexican food. Me too. <laughs> good, ain't it? Now, where's the. In the cooking process, we're gonna go ahead and start trying it. So basically, it's pizza dough, Chick Fil A sauce, chicken nuggets, and also waffle fries. So just kind of like combinations of goodies you get at Chick Fil A. That looks really good. I drizzled extra chicken sauce on top. This looks good. Hmm. I just like it right now. Wow. Classic flavors of Chick Fil A hit you at once because chicken sauce. Besides being good with chicken nuggets, it's also good with waffle fries. It's good. I can see why a lot of people like this. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? It's good. Not quite blowing me away. Like, I think it needs more cheese and a little bit less time spent cooking. So overall, the concept is good. I'd say that for like there's more cheese. Yeah. Like the dough is a bit softer. You know, the piece is a bit softer. I definitely give this like an eight and a half or nine. Chili season. Oh, I'll take advantage of that. Yeah, a large chili. A grilled chicken wrap. Frosty. But this one's peppermint. Oh, I suppose. We'll find it. Are you ready? Let's go and get right and get started. So this, this makes me think of a burrito. Is it just me? It probably is just me. Overpowering. Yeah, strong. Let's see it. That is yours. Oh, this is... Oh, I didn't know. I'll let you have it. Because mm. it goes good with biscuits and gravy anyway. A lot of childhood memories I have are particularly with my grandma, especially, and I've talked about them a lot, but... Um... You know... Just being able to kind of reminisce about them a little bit. I don't mind doing it over and over again, but like a lot of times um, we would cook, you know, cakes and stuff together and she had this big white bowl on the counter and you know, we'd add the flour and stuff to it. She made whole cakes from scratch and um, she would always have me hold the mixture <laughs> and mix the stuff while she added in the eggs and all that and like I kept telling her, my arms would get tired. <laughs> but then she made the best lemon apricot bun cakes. And, um, I don't know if I ever got to experience that. I think I was a bit too young. But, um, chicken skin fall off. This is the original recipe, by the way. Mmm. Bear with me, I'm not good at eating chicken. <laughs> no worries.
there it is. Like, that is chicken. Not bad at all. So far, the nacho is pretty good. Because I'm very nervous about the tomatoes. Because, you know, those who've watched our videos or have it, I should say. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Especially in their, in their uncooked variety. Well, they do um, food reviews, not just on new, like, items that come out like this, but also, like, new... And, uh, this is like, oh, he's so cute now. <laughs> you know? He's so cute. Yeah, thank you, guys. I, I, don't, know, I don't know how you guys want to end this, but, like, it was just... I, I'll stay here forever if you keep me talking. All right, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video with our very social friend. I'm so if... sorry if I spoke too much. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking curious to hear what you said, had to say. Yeah. Well, yeah.